Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. So recently, AT&T has also been testing the millimeter wave spectrum, the same spectrum that Verizon and T-Mobile have been testing for some time. And AT&T was also surprised how well it traveled, how well it did indoors, and how well it did when they weren't in the line of sight of the equipment that was being used. So they produced more than gigabit speeds and the latency was as low as nine milliseconds, which is, to me, which is really good for it being that high of a frequency. So that is definitely an accomplishment from all the carrier. And I figured as technology advances, as we gotten, you know, the HPUE and all that stuff to push that higher uh, band frequency even further. So this is really good for the industry. That millimeter wave spectrum can be used you know to even stretch a little further than it was originally attended to originally if you guys remember it was reported that it was like a hot spot so to speak you could only use it for a certain area well now after testing has been included by even AT&T it looks like preparations for 5G are coming along fine and this spectrum can be used to serve an even bigger radius maybe even indoors so if the equipment is set up using a small cell which it looks like that's what will be used and then you can sit inside of a starbucks indoors and still pick up the spectrum if you're close enough of course it's not gonna it's not gonna you know do what low band does so you can't be four miles away from the tower and still pick it up indoors i, I, don't, I don't think it'll reach that far but it's doing a lot better than what originally thought. So that is really good to see. So all carriers are prepping for 5G at this time. at and Team Verizon are looking to lead the way, in my opinion, at this point. T-Mobile and Sprint are still confused. They still want to merge. They still want to talk. So I don't know what's what the end result will be there. But at and and Verizon look like they're, you know, full storm head on in, into the 5G race. T-Mobile has a plan. They usually execute well, but I don't think it's necessarily the, you know, the T-Mobile USA management. I want to say it's SoftBank and Deutsche Telekom that that are still trying to save a deal here. So T-Mobile said that they have a plan, you know, and they want to execute it 600 megahertz, but they also still need higher band spectrum. And that's where Sprint's 2.5 would come in. But we will see how that turns out. I will definitely keep you up to date on that. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. Like, share, subscribe. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.